Oh, hey. So I heard you wanted to make a Steam Workshop collection? Well, you're in luck because I actually know how to do that. So first you're going to head over to steamcommunity.com. Under Community, you're going to find Workshop. Then in this big old list of games, you're just going to find the one that you want to use. For this video, I'm going to be using Gmod because you know how much I love Gmod so much. So now under Browse, you're going to go and find Collections. On the right, there's this not super obvious, but still their blue button. Click that. Oh wow, look at this. So first thing we're going to do is give the collection a title, but nothing too embarrassing because we will be making it public. Keep that in mind. Next, we're going to choose an image. Again, nothing too crazy or inappropriate that you wouldn't show your grandma. Then you can add a description if you want. Again, please remember grandma. Then you can choose what kind of collection this is and decide what tags to add to it. Then you're going to hit the magic save and continue button. Now you can finally do what you've been waiting to do. Add stuff to your collection. Yay! So now just head back to the workshop of the game you were looking at. And you can browse by type. Oh boy, Dark RP, let's get that one. Once you find something you want, you'll just click Add to Collection. It's pretty straightforward. Now you can repeat that process with as many add-ons as your little heart desires. Go crazy. You know what? I need this. Once you're done adding things to your collection, we need to go publish it. So go back to your collections and click on the collection that you want to publish. You should see this blue thing at the top that says your collection is not yet published, so publish it. If you're seeing this orange bar that says current visibility friends only, you just need to go down and change the visibility. And if it's not letting you change the visibility to public, then you're having the same problem I had. Either your account is limited or you haven't enabled two-factor authentication yet. So fix that. Luckily, I made a backup that's actually working, so we're just going to copy the workshop ID, which you can find in the URL. Then you're going to head back to your server, and under Game Settings, you're going to find Workshop Collection ID. Paste that bad boy in there. And then make sure you hit Save. Always save your work, kids. Always save your work. Now, when you try to start up your server, it might take a little bit longer than usual. That's just because it's downloading all those add-ons that you put in there. It's trying real hard, I promise. But, once it turns green, you're good to go. So. Conga rats, you now have a working Steam Workshop collection added to your server. Good job.